I'm Chris Sorensen. I'm a, a Cartel U Rust uh, University Distinguished Professor in the Department of Physics. I've been here 45 years. I retired last May. I'm emeritus now, and, uh, but I'm still doing a lot of science and still interacting with the university. I got to the graphene because I was interested in soot and smoke. Why was I interested in soot and smoke? Well, they're the products, some of the products of combustion, fossil fuel combustion. Mm -hmm. We all know that fossil fuel combustion makes carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide goes in the atmosphere, and that's the main component that forces the atmosphere to become warmer, so-called uh, uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Graphene has remarkable physical properties, and in particular, it's a very strong material. So we can mix it into other materials like plastics or concretes and make those materials stronger. If those materials are stronger, we can use less of them. And if we use less of them, the processes by which we make these materials will have a smaller carbon dioxide footprint. 